for little man. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stanzi and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be a Shein kind of like a mini haul and try on. I have a few outfits to show you guys and I also have a bunch of accessories that I want to show you guys that I got because I'm going to try and like accessorize more with my clothing. I pretty much do quite a bit now but I feel like I need more and this time I was on a little bit of a hunt. There were specific things that I wanted in terms of accessories so I will show them to you guys a little bit later. First I think we should start off with the outfits because I think they're going to be ones that you are going to want to see. Just a disclaimer, the outfits Shein actually sent to me so I didn't buy them but I picked them out myself and this video is by no means sponsored by them they didn't even know that I'm putting it in a video it's just something that I like to show you guys I think I've told you guys in the past uh, I do post Instagram pictures of all my outfits but I like to show you guys so then we can talk about them as well and I can tell you because sometimes pictures can be deceiving I'll also show you one of them I took a picture in it and it's a little bit deceiving to how it looks like in real life so we may as well just get started with the first outfit so I'll meet you guys over in the other room. Let's start off with item number one. How adorable is this skirt? I have shoes on because I'm also like simultaneously filming some TikToks as well with these outfits. So if you want to see some of those, they're pretty much just going to be like one per one of each of the outfits that I'm trying on. So back to this skirt. How cute is it? It's just like, it's my favorite. It reminds me of the early 2000s. I had uh, this sort of color denim one and I had a white one and I wore them like everywhere. I just like, it's just my style. Now it has, let me come a bit closer. It has like the two pockets here in the front there. Um, one of them was stitched in a bit weird, but all I did was like I went on the inside and unstitched it and now they're perfectly functioning, which is great. You have the zipper here button here and stretch quite stretchy oh what size did i get the skirt is a 4xl and it fits me just perfect i feel like the 3xx would have probably been too tight but so it goes up shorter in the front it's got like this little bit of like a flappy thing happening the back has two pockets which are actually functioning as well so you can use them and the back is actually lower than the front and I really like that the fact that it's kind of like a high low but the perfect style the way it stands it likes things shorter in the front longer in the back I hate wearing short in the back my biggest issue with wear, me wearing short is I don't like short in the back I don't like how my legs look back there I also wear shapewear and I don't need things to go up my butt also pulls things up anyway so this style is just like perfect this is absolutely my new favorite skirt my new favorite denim skirt that i'm going to be wearing everywhere check out my instagram i'm definitely gonna have pictures all the time from this because it's it's a go-to denim is absolutely a go-to like you can wear it all the time and i usually tend to shy away from getting denim online because you just don't know if it's gonna fit like jeans wise as well like i really haven't i may have purchased one but it's something that you just don't know because i don't know sometimes denim is not forgiving but with this like i'm so happy i got it and i, I just love it okay but is this not a cute little set for wearing like at home or to the shops or something it's just so comfortable and I love a tie-dye I don't know if the tie-dye movement has moved on since you know lockdown but I feel like I still want to rock it a little bit longer and I really like this look now I know it's hot in here in Australia but this top is like thin it's not that thick so you could definitely still wear it or you could just wear the pants on their own which I did the other day I literally just wore like the bottoms with the single and I brought this along if it got cooler but it's okay. Oh, I still have my shape around underneath because I need it for my other outfits and I'm not about to put it on and take it off because that thing's a struggle. I've got the skims on on today. Uh, so it shows like a little bit of belly here. Now, depending now, because I'm bigger busted, let me come closer. Now, because I'm bigger busted, things come up a lot shorter on me. If you have a smaller bust, this is definitely going to sit lower and it's just going to probably sit and hit the top of the pants. But when I wore it the other day, even without my Spanx, like there was still a little bit of space. You could pull it down if you wanted to, but I don't mind a little bit of skin showing because it's like 
just a little bit there. I, I really quite like it. The top is a little bit more higher than what I personally like, but I feel like it's not too bad. Like it's not choking, like it doesn't come up too high. So there is a little bit of space here. Fits me perfectly in the arms. It's quite stretchy. This set is a 3XL and I feel like the size works fine, perfectly fine. So this tie up here is just here for decorations. It doesn't actually work, but there is elastic here in the waist. So the elastic is, you know, gives however you like. And this just looks pretty here in the front. The back is just plain. There's no pockets or anything. I feel like it actually sits really well. The length as well for me, just great. Like it goes exactly how I would like it. I feel like it's actually made for my height. Usually things are so long and then I don't like the look of that. And that's why I prefer joggers because they actually end in one spot. These aren't joggers, but they actually sit very well. This is so stretchy and comfortable. I did wear it, as I said the other day, with no shape shapewear underneath, and it was super comfy, and I just really like it. Next up, we have this adorable little set. I love things that come in a set because it's like a two for one. You get two things that you can wear as one outfit, or you can wear them both separate. I mean, duh, that's the point of a set, Stanzi. Okay, so <laughs> the top is really cute, fits me just fine, even is a bit like loose down the bottom here. And this kind of tie up thing is adjustable. Let me come closer. So if you wanted to, you could like pull this up. So like pull it up, for example, like that, you know, if you had smaller boobies or you could put it lower or even all the way down if you wanted to. However, can we take a moment for the print? I love the pink and I love the little red hearts on it. Yeah, it's Valentine's Day, I get it. Like it was more Valentine's Day, but I think you can wear this at any time of the year. Like hearts aren't specific to Valentine's Day. It's so like cute and girly. Uh, the skirt though is too tight. Now, if this stretch to it, I think it would be amazing. The a whole outfit is 4X. So I did size up because normally I go for 3X. And when there's things on that I'm not sure about and I know that there's no stretch, I always size up. But I probably should have sized two up to make sure that the skirt fit me. It does have this gathering here that's kind of like an illusion that there's stretch to it. And if there was stretch, I feel like the gathering would have been like more useful because that's usually on, you know, like stretchy fabric. And it's also, let me show you. So the same way that it kind of gathers here in the front, it also gathers in the back. And it kind of comes in, so it's like... A sweetheart neckline on the bottom I love the sweetheart neckline of the top beautiful adorable but I don't like it so much on a skirt I prefer more of like maybe a straight or I prefer the size to be shorter than the middle bit that's just my personal preference there is a zipper though at the back so I got it on through like I pulled it up and popped the zipper on I would have much preferred it to be an elastic waist to be honest However, if this actually fit me, this would be something that I would wear like pretty often. At least the skirt with a different color top if I didn't want to wear it like as a whole outfit. The arms fit me, which is good because normally I feel like if there's no stretch, I have the arm problem. But no, they fit me just fine. All in all, like yes, the material is thin, but I feel like that's nice for summer. Uh, also, like if you pull the skirt down and because I'm chunkier here, I can't really pull it down and things tend to bunch up in my waist. It doesn't show the midsection, but if you have like probably a different shape or bigger size, it would sit a bit lower and you could see like that midsection. So I still think like I could wear it because I can get it on, but I do think like a size bigger just would have looked so much better. It is cute though. This dress though. Now I saw it on the model and I was like, that looks so good. Like it looks expensive. It just looks so put together. It's like rich mum vibes. I really liked it. and the white with the gold like absolutely love. I'll come in a bit closer so you guys can see like the fabric of it because it is like this woolly looking thing and these pockets are real you can put stuff in them but uh, it's already started to kind of rip a little bit here however I just love it it is a little bit too tight on me in this area like I could guess I had to wear shapewear. Without the shapewear, you could see the busting of the seams. But I always wear shapewear anyway. So I feel like you definitely need like the shapewear if you're not going to get a bigger size. This is a 4X. I, now, I personally sized up because I knew it didn't really have stretch to it. And I went a size up, but I probably should have got the 5. Up the top, it fits me just fine. It's lovely, even in the waist. So it's kind of here like I feel like... I can kind of get away with it because it's not really gaping. I personally just know that it's too tight. 
these pockets here are also functioning so you just can't like pocket them in but that's fine i actually prefer this much better it just looks so lovely the back is a little bit short for my liking but you guys hear me like i'm like a broken record there and it also has like some lining to it as well which I probably thought that it wouldn't have lining. Sometimes I just feel like with sheen, it's a bit of a hit and miss sometimes. But it even has a lining, which is great. So I definitely recommend this. Like It is adorable. Guys, I will link everything that I can down below. But anyways, it's lovely. I like it. I thought I'd come back and sit down and talk to you guys about all the accessories that I got. Because I want to show you guys up close. Let's start off with the belts. Now, I have never bought a belt from Shein because... I've never seen anything that actually says plus size and this time I actually had a good look and there was actual belts that said plus size on them so I thought let me try them out because I've been wanting a white belt for ages and I can't find like any inexpensive one and this one is a great one it's one of these ones that's like super long and you just tie it around your waist and this one absolutely fits mainly because there's plenty of room like to give so you know because it's got the extra tie ups it works really really well it's also nice and soft I totally recommend so I have another belt and it is white. It was the first one that I saw and I really liked it because of its little like buckle. But I wasn't sure if it would fit. That's why I also grabbed the other one because I still wanted to make sure I had a white belt. Now this absolutely fits. So it has a stretch to it. And it stretches quite a bit which is really good. And it's got this little buckle with the little kind of holes there. And it's just like a totally different style belt to the other one. I feel like, you know, it depends on the outfit that you're wearing. This one will really work. However, this thing is a little on the thin side. So it looks like it's something you could, like, with a bit of force. Not easily, but with a bit of force bend. So that's probably the only, like, you can kind of feel that it's not, like, the greatest quality. But for the pricing, like, this is totally worth it and really quite good now next up an item that didn't work for me was this strap for your bag now I need a nice long strap for quite a few of my bags because I like to wear them a little bit lower now because I'm a bigger busted person and I'm a bigger person in general I need the strap to go super long and the, I did look at the measurements of this but it just literally didn't work for me I thought that it would and I've got it down to as like low as possible and it's shorter than the other ones that I actually have it didn't say plus size on it and there wasn't any that did so I think this is might be something that I might have to have a look like in I was gonna say real life online is real life too but out in the actual stores just to get like a proper measurement otherwise if you want something like this it totally works it's got the little like clasps here it's got the adjustable bit there if you want to shorter so I could totally actually shorten this and use it as like a shoulder bag if I wanted to so I'm still going to hold on to it unless my sister wants it but it's something that you know will still come in handy it's just that there's no way for me to actually make it a lot longer so it is something I liked but for me at this current moment Moment, it's not gonna work I think white was my color of the moment <laughs> I guess when I'm thinking of accessories I feel like you know black and whites kind of go with a lot of things and also I like to get like a base color like that first and then the next time around I can grab the same item maybe in a different color and I think I was thinking colors and I just went with white because you know I envisioned white so speaking of white I got white gloves I know sometimes I feel like gloves are such a random thing but I feel like how cute are they especially for like i guess for photos and for outfits and stuff it's not something i may wear like i probably could wear it in real life depending on what the outing is let me pop the other one on actually let me show you up close what it looks like it's got the little like pearls in there they were quite inexpensive and i love how it's like that chill fabric but like just gives me sort of I don't know like old school classy lady vibes this one comes with like this fake ring that I think I'm going to take off because I don't really like it or it'll probably end up coming off on its own I don't know we'll see how I'm feeling but for now I don't really like it there but that's okay I still I love this little bit of the glove and they fit me just fine even if you have like chunkier hands it still fits if you're into some gloves I was also thinking how winter is coming and something that I am personally obsessed with is having like fur on your coat, on your clothing, like fake fur, but like I'm obsessed. Chip is digging. Are we right, sir? 
as I was saying, like I super love having like that faux fur everywhere on coats, on tops. So I grabbed me some of these cuffs. Now this is something I'm obsessed with. I want it in every color. I'm so gonna wear it. So literally, I just pop on like a long sleeve top and then you pop these little cuffs on and then you get like, it looks like it's part of the top, but it's not. So you can buy your own top. These are just something that works that I feel like I can buy the kind of top that I want. But also I find that I can't find these sorts of things like tops like this out in the stores or I would buy them but I can make my own so just like a long sleeve of white or you know what I can wear the white on any color that's why I got white so it could be like my own version of the top and this would look adorable I just think they're a bit hot on now but I just I'm totally gonna love these and I'm definitely gonna look into getting some other colors because this is such a stancy vibe however I got another fur thing and look it's not white Oh, it's the cuffs. I thought it was like the neck one. I thought that's what I grabbed. But okay, this is a definite one that works so well on coats and other things. This is the pure, you know, like looking like a fur coat. Love, love this. Oh, I'm so glad. I don't even remember what I got. I'm so glad I got the two colors. I got some fluff in my eyelashes now. So still on the winter theme. I know it's a while away, but I just saw some of this stuff and I was like, accessories i got myself a beret yes we're white yes it is white to go with everything else white that i got i don't even know how it's gonna look like on does it have elastic or oh, not really oh, i've got these things in my hair at the moment but let me take out the clips let's pop it on oh how cute is that love it Oh wow, I look like a painter. I'm going to continue the rest of the haul, not too many things left, uh, with this on because it is so cute. I also picked up these tiny earrings. One is a cloud, one is an aeroplane. It just reminded me of traveling and, you know, going on holidays and I just thought it was adorable. Now, I would love if these were like silver so that way I could hold on to them for a little bit longer. I do like gold jewelry, um, but, you know, for the price that these ones are at, they'll be good for the time being. I also, I thought for filming, for photo purposes, I got this tie. I got it in pink, see, it wasn't in white. <laughs> So it's pink, but I thought it would look cute, you know, like if you're wearing a nice shirt or a top, even like a singler like this. Uh, I was going to say boob tube, but I don't wear boob tube. But otherwise, I thought it would look really pretty in an outfit or like if you're doing like a schoolgirl type look or something like that. It is pretty cute. It did come in a bunch of colors. I'm going to see how I like the pink and then I could invest in some other colors. I feel like I need to go start going back to some of my skits and this would also come in handy for that too. And lastly, I picked up some shoes. I've been eyeing some green, like, olive style shoes for such a long time. I just feel like it's also a neutral color. Whilst when you say green, it doesn't sound neutral. But I feel like that tone of green is very neutral and goes with a lot of outfits. And I love myself some wedges, so I grabbed these. How cute are they? I love the little bow on there. They've got that perfect wedge that I like that's very comfortable for me. Now, if, if you remember my white ones, or I think I wore them in this video, they are very similar style where they're very, very light. And this bit is a little bit squishy. Now, I was a little bit scared that like my weight would squish that down, and it hasn't. And I've worn the white ones actually for quite a long time. Like I've worn them lots of times, and it hasn't squished it down. So I feel like it's still, it's safe. Now I've got these in a size 40 and I feel like they're a touch small. I feel like the 41 might have been a bit too big. I got the 40 in the white ones and they fit me perfectly. It could be that this bit might be a little bit too narrow. And normally I don't have a wide foot so I don't usually have that problem. So maybe it's a little bit of a wear. My foot does stick out a touch but I'm definitely sure that I'm going to still wear it. And I feel like the color is beautiful and they are really, really, really nice. And that is the end of my haul and try on for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed a lot of the stuff that I tried on. I am enjoying this like outfit and accessory kind of format so you guys get to see like a whole range of different things that you can get. Comment down below and let me know what was your favorite item. And as I said earlier along, I will try and link what I do find down below for you guys. But apart from that, that is all for today's video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.